Hi. Leather Rock here. Man, I need to do my hair again. Look at these roots. Really kind of gets on my nerves. It just It's hard to find time to do it with uh, what's now the three-day um, a week posting schedule. And uh, I've got some club life going on Friday, but Thursday is a posting day. And as you probably know, my doing my hair is kind of a good three-day ordeal because I have to bleach my roots. And then after they're uh, done and rinsed out and all, oh, and none of my, we, are, we had two blow dryers in a house and they are both gone, kaput, fizzed out. Tabby boy, knock it off. Every time I'm filming, he has to do that. Uh, so I don't have blow dryers, which means my hair is going to have to naturally dry and after bleaching and washing process, the hair absolutely has to be bone dry before you can even touch it with dyes. Now, when I went to get my computer back from the last repair job I had, there was a Sally Beauty Supply uh, uh, in the same shopping center. And I had not been to a Sally Beauty Supply since Los Angeles. And I want to show you the things that I got at Sally. Uh, first of all, these are brand new products and companies that I have never dealt with before, but the price was right, and these are purple shades, and this is from a company called Ion, and these are semi-permanent vegetable-based dyes. Uh, maybe I should turn the light out, make it easier, but uh, the color is called Color Brilliance Bright Semi-Permanent Cream Hair Color from Ion, um, and the color is Radiant Orchid, and uh, the only frame of reference I really had is they gave a flyer of some kind, a leaflet with it. And don't you know, I set it aside someplace where I can't get my hand on it, which is really professional, huh? Uh, but these are, now these are kind of small tubes. Usually when I get my jar dye, they're four ounces or three and a half ounces. And these are only two ounces, but I got two of them. And I also got a company, uh, BTZ Beyond the Zone Color Jams, and the color is Purple Passion. And this is a semi-permanent vegetable-based dye that, if your hair is porous enough, it is pretty close to permanent anyway. Uh, and, of course, the less you wash your hair, the better, the longer the color will stay in. When my hair was in the cornrows the last time, I'll be honest with you, I didn't bother washing it at all. I mean, I got away, I just put my hair in two plastic bags to take a shower so that the knot would be, one knot would be in the front and one knot would be in the back. And that was, I found by doing that, the hair, the water from the shower definitely would not get on the scalp and stuff. Um, that's also a good way to take a shower when you have big teased up here to use two big shopping, not shopping bags, but like if you get uh, really a lot of groceries and stuff at a, at a store and you get the big bags that you could use to, to line a big trash bin in, two of those is a good way instead of a shower cap because if you have a lot of hair, shower caps are not big enough or they'll be real tight on the hair and you'll, and you they'll always leak. They're ridiculous. I mean, if you have short hair, maybe shower caps work, but if you got any kind of hair and my hair is waist length in parts, I have to use trash bags. So anyway, this color jams, colors purple passion, which looks very similar to the punky colors purple. Um, you'll have to kind of take my word for it because it's light here. I can only adjust it. I don't know. Is, is that better? Now, I got something else that is actual permanent dye, a permanent purple dye, and again, the color, the brand is BTZ, Beyond the Zone, Rock On, Poppin' Purple, and Purple Violet, and I got two boxes. Now, with these, you actually do process with peroxide, but unlike the 30-volume peroxide, which is what I use now for my roots because 30 volume is high lifting and it's fast. You have to do a fast application with 30 volume. But when you're using peroxide as a developer for a permanent dye, 
you're probably not going to use a 30 because 30 is lifting and you want a deposit color. So for this, you want a 10 volume peroxide. And guess what? I don't have 10 volume peroxide, which means I'm going to have to go back to the beauty supply before I can do my hair if I'm going to use some of this permanent dye. You see where we're getting here? And uh, now I have a choice of two places that I could go. I could go back to Sally Beauty Supply or I can go to Ventnor Beauty Supply, which is also called the Supermarkets of Beauty. Uh, I can't walk to Sally Beauty, okay? And I'll be honest with you, I don't want to spend the bus fare. I can walk to Ventnor Beauty Supply. I'd rather not when it's freezing cold or any other inclement weather. Tabby boy, stop that! But... I'm a walker, and especially since I'm back to working out again, I, you know, I can handle it. I've done it before. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back and get some 10 volume peroxide if I can die with these. Now, you've seen this before. You've seen the process. I already have enough of this. I probably have a couple of years uh, worth of this. Uh, but I got to do my roots. I got to do my color again. But I don't know that I could do it before this weekend. So, oh, I wanted to also show you when I was at that shopping center, I also ran by the Dollar Tree again. And uh, I got, I wanted a good uh, apricot scrub. Uh, you know, it has the uh, shell, they grind them up. And it's, this is a physical as opposed to a chemical exfoliant. Uh, this is kind of like a takeoff of the Apri cleansing grains. If you've ever used them, they were made with walnut shells and they were ground up. But now after I bought it, I felt really kind of bummed out because I'm looking at the ingredients here and it says water, mineral oil, petrolatum. It goes on and on. But petrolatum, petroleum jelly, all these uh, petrochemicals, I'm trying to minimize how much of them I'm using. I'm trying to like, who didn't used to use baby oil to take their eye makeup off back in the day? Now I'm using, uh, I was using olive oil. Now I'm using coconut oil. Pure, unrefined coconut oil that still smells nutty and stuff. And it doesn't have any GMOs and stuff. I got like three jars of that. I've been using that for so many things. But when I'm reading these petroleum ingredients in here, I'm just really kind of bummed out about that. But I got two more of those LA Colors mascaras, and these are different formulas that they I didn't see before. Um, hopefully, it'll be better than the one that I'm using right now. This one here is a Big Lash mascara, and it looks like it has a nice looking brush. And this one here it says LA Colors Bold mascara. Now. I can't tell you what it's like because obviously I haven't opened it yet. But the one that I am working on now is not does not have a lot of, a lot of definition in it. Now the mascara I'm wearing right now is the B and H because uh, one I really like a lot. I'll show you the one I'm wearing right now is the Fierce Volume. Again, if you're looking for a really good mascara with fibers, it's not going to break the bank. B&H Cosmetics Fierce Volume Extreme Mascara. Um, I don't even think this is necessarily waterproof, but it really holds up. I really like it a lot. It makes my make my it makes something out of nothing of my little lashes. And the brush, I like it. I think I paid three ninety nine for it. It's probably less than that actually, because I always catch sales. But uh, so. Fingers crossed that I do my hair soon because I'm really jonesing uh, for it. I mean, I, the roots, the fading bothers me more than the roots, you know. But I mean, I want to do my hair up real big for Friday night because they're doing an Alice Cooper tribute. And uh, and instead of having a t-shirt contest, they were going to have an Alice Cooper makeup contest. But since I'm going to be filming that night, I'm not going to do any kind of Alice Cooper makeup because... Uh, it's not worth it having to wash off and redo before filming and stuff. So, uh, hey, I would love to have you join my family. Subscribe, hit the bell notification thingy, then you'll know when I make my next upload. I'm keeping a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday posting schedule. I'm really trying to stick to it. 
Can't tell you what I'm going to film about next, but it should be fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.